right guys all right I got a nice surprise for the bass guys a nice surprise for the bass guys Scott hey Alfred how you doing I finally made it I'm Good. so I'm so sorry I couldn't get here earlier guys I saw Scott earlier and I told him listen I wanted to go ahead and do a proper proper walkthrough of this boat and uh, tell me about this new Skeeter well this is the all-new FXR which replaced last year's FX model it comes okay. in a 20 footer and a 21 footer this is the 21 here in the apex edition which is top of the line all the bells and whistles uh, uses a tri-tech finish with which is exclusive to the apex line but it's pretty much an all-new boat from our old FX from the hull and the running surface right to the top cap I'll tell you it looks sexy mean even the trailer <laughs> you guys you guys haven't compromised anything on this no guy. the, the, the trailer is largely new too it, it includes actually a new step now which um, is a really neat feature you can get into a compartment nice from the trailer which is always sometimes you forget something in a rod locker and you need to change your rod out and you can't reach it from the ground so now with that step you can step right over the side all right so look let's jump on board so you can talk about the the features of this new uh, FXR21 because right. this thing is I mean we can start from back here yeah we'll we'll, we'll kind of go uh, stern to bow here okay um, this is always a busy area on a bass boat with twin power poles or shallow water anchors of any type um, side imaging transducer you have a lot of cabling and stuff that needs to enter the boat so we cleaned up this area here with this custom little plate here where everything has a nice big area where it can access into the transom of the boat into the rigging compartment. The rigging compartment is huge and very accessible compared to most boats and, and, and our boat of last year. All the pumps are accessible, batteries are accessible, uh, quick connects on all the hoses and fittings. Yeah, it's uh, been nice and open back here. Yeah, master power shutoffs so you can kill all your power, you won't have any, any drain. Um, modern electronics are getting bigger and more of them on every boat. Mm -hmm. They pull a lot of power, so all our uh, locations for electronics are all direct wired with 10 gauge wire um, direct on their own circuit. So you don't have to worry about power draw and not having enough power for your electronics. Moving forward, equal storage compartments on, on either side in the rear. All dry, drop-in roto-molded liners. Um, drop-in aluminum deck. All Those are easy big advantage. doors too. Yeah, the advantage of aluminum is it's actually lighter than using a fiberglass deck, but it's also stronger. So it's a win-win situation there. Live well lids open rearward now instead of sideways. Easier accessibility from the cockpit of where you're usually putting your fish in from. It also gives you a little protection of a fish getting away from you and going over the transom. How, the how many gallons are those? Those, I believe, are, uh, I'm not exactly sure on that. I want to think the total live well volume uh, is about is about 30 gallons. Okay. And it's a, an on-the-water removable divider. Well, the we'll nice put thing, that in the specs below so okay. they can have that. Very good. Very good. The nice thing about the removable divider is in a traditional set two separate compartment live wells, you have your four pumps, two for pump in, two for research. And if you happen to have a pump go out, you have to move your fish from one side to the other. Okay. With the, the divided well, it still has four pumps. Okay. But if you lose a pump, you don't no need to move your fish because nice. the water circulates all the way through. I'm sure the pros love that. Yeah, it's a great it's a great feature. You know, we hope the pumps fail, but at times it does happen. What, um, what do we got in here, uh, Scott? Is there something? Just more storage? Yep. So, so yep. another so storage compartment, storage dry jumbles. storage, roto molded, drop in storage. Yep. Another feature of this boat compared to last year's boat is it's got uh, quite a bit wider. The beam is actually similar, but the beam now carries much further forward. For example, in the seating area right here, we're four inches wider. Okay, that's a huge difference. It's a lot. It's a lot of difference. Um, it gives you more room shoulder to shoulder with your fishing partners. Uh, this is a built-in seat and step. It's a soft, durable material. It's also a cooler, so no more swapping out cushions. It's always a step. It's always a seat, so you don't have to change anything else. 
built-in cup holders. Uh, this Apex model comes with uh, comes with two Hummingbird Helix 12s, standard on this model. They are networked together, so if you save a waypoint on this one, it will show up on the other graph and vice versa. At the consoles, the boat is actually five inches wider. I mean, that is a huge hummingbird right there, ready to go, and then you also have one at the bow. Correct, same unit at the bow. Um, electronics, you keep the trend in electronics is that they're getting larger and larger, so we decided to accommodate this boat with 12 inch graphs right off the, mm -hmm. right off the If somebody wanted to put something maybe to like to lean on, or maybe a chair or something like that, do they have that option on this particular boat? Yeah, this boat actually comes standard with two leaning posts, fishing chairs, one for the front and one for the back. That's a huge area there to fish off of. I mean. If you can't catch a fish off of there, I mean, that's like almost like fishing off of a bridge, guys. Right. The biggest difference in the width is actually at the bow. It's It's got four inches wider at the seats, five at the consoles, and at the center of the trolling motor pedal, it's actually eight inches wider. So this boat will give you the ability to actually fish two anglers side by side off the front, very wide right at the trolling motor pedal. And you have all this here ready to go? Come standard with the Minn Kota Ultrax link model. So this trolling motor will link with the electronics. Mm -hmm. so there's features you can control actually from the graphs um, without having to go to the trolling motor once it's deployed into the water. So tell me a little bit about the storage here up, up, up here. We have a so rod locker on the port side, as well as the starboard side. It uses a mega tube system rather than individual tubes, so okay. you don't have to be limited by the number of rod tips you can put in there. Um, you can put as many in there as you want. This is center storage. It will also accommodate several rods with a mega tube off to each side. And our storage uses a crate system where a lot of anglers. Everybody loves plain old 3700 size boxes. Mm -hmm. These are in a crate system. So you can organize your tackle by maybe specific lates or specific baits. Nice. You can get these extra crates through parts, so it's easy to swap out a whole bunch of tackle in a short amount of time. Yeah, you can have already a whole uh, separate system depending on how you think it's going to go for wherever you're going to fish. Exactly. I don't, I don't know of an angler that doesn't use that 3700 size box to organize their tackle. So uh, we've provided an easy way to swap out tackle for different bodies of water. That is so, so well. Net storage on the top of the lid. Again, this is an all aluminum drop in system, stronger than fiberglass, but yet lighter. One piece with a built in drip edge, so everything's very, very dry up here. So, Scott, how, how, what's the fuel capacity and, and like the cruising or max speed on this guy? I know for like tournaments and some big term, tournaments, you have to have, you know, you can't have more than a 250 on your and you know on your boat if you want to qualify for for anything so no, tell no, me a little bit about the, that the speed and range and that's true the boat has a 52 gallon gas tank um the speed one of the one of the neat things about this boat is compared to our old boat what we did is we increased the dead rise of the boat which really smoothed out the ride um using an accelerometer mm -hmm. on lake pontchartrain where we test most our boats this boat had 37 percent fewer impacts over whatever the G level they use to measure that is. So it's 37% smoother ride. But usually what happens when you increase the dead rise of a boat, you lose speed. This boat actually got a little longer, a little wider, and we increased the dead rise. But our engineers designed the pad of this boat, the running surface, so the speed actually stayed the same as our old model. This boat should typically run in the low 70 mile an hour range. 70, 72 miles an hour is the top end of yes, this boat. That is flying. Flying and you got a... a a smoother ride from compared to last year's boat. Well, absolutely. That's the amazing thing is increasing the dead rise and keeping the same speed is, is uh, really a tribute to our engineering staff. Yeah, uh, you guys put a little bit more weight uh, up front or because you guys, you had all those, uh, um, what do you call those things in the back, the power poles and all that good stuff? Well, yeah, that's, you know, we've had that on, on, on our boats for, for quite a few years, but the, the amazing thing is the boat got longer and yeah. wider. It's about 200 pounds heavier than the old model, but the, the, the speed stayed the same. That's awesome, guys. And the ride is amazing. So, Scott, so where can they go online if they wanted to get a little bit more information? 
All the information that you would ever need on this boat and our entire line of boats is on uh, SkeeterBoats.com. Guys, this FXR21 is absolutely stunning for a bass guy that wants to go ahead and for this is like a for a pro semi-pro weekend warrior who's the guy who's gonna buy this well a lot of pros will, will run this boat um the weekend warriors as well it's it's got a lot of features um it's uh i got a lot of bells and whistles this is our top of the line model but um it'll it'll fit the needs of a weekend warrior a weekend warrior right up to uh right up to a professional angle guys here at Skeeter, don't forget to like and subscribe. Scott, thank you so much. This no, thank thing is a beast, man. Bye-bye. Take care.